Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 47 and 48 of Twin Star Exorcist. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 47 in 3, 2, 1, go. Hmm. so cold oh my god i'm sorry it's freezing in my room and see hold up <laughs> I mean, you know, people will do that no matter what. Me, I would already been running, like, so bad. I'd have been like, what the hell is that? I'm like, okay, time to go. Book it out. Big old nope. I can't even like believe by next week we'll be done with this. That is just so fucking crazy. Even with the fact that I have been so busy this week and this today was the only day that I could record this and such and your girl is hella stressed out. I need to check my phone one more time to see if my other stuff is done uploading. me oh god okay I will check when I get through the 10 minute mark on that again Oh, I'm so scared. Come on, Benny. Oh. If only you told her before. <laughs> She's gonna stop him.
Mm-hmm. Now, is she going to see Yuto's body, possibly? I mean, she needs to. And see, y'all just standing there. How many times? I'm going to time out. Who the fuck is going to stand there? Oh, Jesus Christ. Take the wheel. Is he putting up a barrier? Yeah, I think that's a barrier. See, Benny ain't running so fast for me. I need her to run like she has stolen something. And it's, if you love Rokuto like you say you do, you need to be up in that business. Same for everyone. Damn. Yeah, but now he stopped crying. Yeah, unfortunately. He just standing over there menacingly. But there's got to be another way. There's always another way. <laughs> oh, Kinoko was like, the fuck? Let me check this thing one more time. Okay, good. We're good. Thank God. It's still uploading. Ugh.
but I will check it after I'm done with this episode before I watch the next one. Of course, because of the fact that he's a puppet. They were all real. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody else still is for now. Damn, all the kids. And you'll go ahead and destroy the rest of the world. I, I mean, this doesn't seem very peaceful. But this isn't peace. It's not right. I don't really think anybody wants that. I mean,
And you'll kill him. Oh, well, that's a motherfucking lie. Come on now. Don't believe that, Benny O. Mm -mm. Don't believe that. Come on now, because everything comes with a price, no matter what. Listen to Key Nickel. Say no. Of course. <laughs> Will you let Rocco go? That's a fucking lie, too. Come on, Benny O. No. Please don't go through with this. Rokuro wouldn't want you to do this. Because there's nothing else she can do now.
course not. This is the hardest decision that you have to make. But... You would end it right there. You would end it right there. Right when she said something. Only to scare her. like, no, you gotta wait. You gotta wait. See, I felt like at the same time she's saying, I need to do this. But at the same time, she's like, um, she's gonna mess with him. I don't know. Because we only have, I only got one more episode left for today. And this could end anyway. And the fact is that she loves Rokuro so much is that she's willing to do everything in her power to save him. If that also means sacrificing herself. Not being able to grow old with him. Dying at a very young age and never being able to see him again. And to have the whole entire world be stoned for him like once again these decisions that these kids gotta make oh my god like jesus i, I mean you know as an adult we make some harsh decisions but oh my god when it's a kid and especially when we were young and we had to make decisions that we weren't ready for and sometimes we had to grow up very fast at a very you know young age and it's like that for these two see i'm a little sad because you know anything could happen in episode 48 and then after that we just got two episodes left and then i'm done with the show this could end with these final three episodes could end anyway any effing way and I'm just so fucking scared to, to see how this is going to conclude and even though we ain't going to know until next week seriously like oh god you don't know like <laughs> I cannot imagine like people watching this in 2016 and then it concluding the following year and getting to the end of this show and being like bro we are almost done with this damn show how the fuck is this gonna end <laughs> like we, we know, like, a lot of shows end on happy notes, but what if this ends sad? Like, I don't even want to think about that, nor talk about that, because it hurts. I, I don't like it when, you know, really good shows end on a sad note, because it just hurts. And then especially when you go and rewatch it, and you just remember the ending, you're like, damn. I don't want to rewatch this now. But go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 48. Okay, episode 48 and 3... Two, one, go. Ha ha. The one time I wish the opening wasn't playing. The one time. But like, why couldn't they for the final three episodes of the show just skip the opening? As much as I love it when animes have the openings, especially when you get to like closer and closer to the end of the series, when it's necessary, straight up take it out. Put some opening credits during the episode so we can find out what the fuck happened. I mean, because there was like one season pretty here that did that and I was like oh my god they're learning and then um we got to the previous the no the <laughs> the season after and we get to the final S episodes and they're like oh we're gonna play the opening and I was like no I was like just go and start it 
because it gets tedious and you're like I just want to see how it goes and concludes and ends and you're like I don't want to see the opening as much as I love it but oh god You don't have to do this. I'm guessing the reason for the discoloration is because it wouldn't, like, affect someone's eyes. See, now he straight up looks like a Bleach character.
It didn't work. I know. the penny on. Because she loves you!
She would play music at a time like this. Oh my god. That was cute. Hmm? But eventually you're gonna do it right, probably by the time the series ends. Let's hope so. Oh, of course he does.
So, what's the plan though? That little, like, small amount of, like, oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, what the hell? We might all die, but hey. Because, of course, they all can't go together. So each person has to make a sacrifice just so they can get up there. You would end it like that. You would. 
Not to the point where he gets up to the fucking top. But like, <laughs> the fact is that everybody, something told me that, of course, not everybody was going to make it up to the top of the tree, of course. Because come on now, sacrifices are necessary because they're not all dead dead. They're just, you know, well, no, I guess but compare it to say the moon <laughs> they're they're just right now they're MIA that's all they are MIA knocked out at the bottom they're just there and they're just hoping and praying that Rokuro is able to get Peneo tell her their feelings and then just be happy oh my god <sighs> sacrifices were very very necessary in this third <sighs> to the final two episodes of the show and this can end anyway next week with the finale i am truly scared because of course we're not gonna know until i get to next week maybe this weekend when i um if i have time to record it because i would like to record it this weekend so i can get some other things done but like oh god even though we are not done with this this has been a really amazing journey and i'm hella sad that by next week we will truly be done with this show. And unfortunately, like, there is nothing else. The only way that I will be able to find out anything after these last two episodes is by reading the manga. I don't know if I'll have time, but we'll see. Oh. Yeah, you gotta put that for mine up because, like, oh my god, like... <laughs> the poor baby. I know I would if I was in her place. Like, I would have been like, oh my god, like, yeah, my other two friends are in love, and I'm just over here, like, hey, how you doing? That's all. The poor baby. Just let this end real good. We only have the last two episodes next week, and anything could happen. Truly, anything can happen and will happen. I mean, the funny thing is, like, there's so many questions of how I wonder how it's going to end. I wonder, like, okay, going into, like, my Fruits Basket-ish, I feel like with episode 50, there we're going to see Rokuro and Benio possibly older and with their kids. That's what I would really want to see because even though as somebody who loves Fruits Basket so freaking much and had a little bit of mixed feelings in the final episode or really the final season with the fact that it only had 13 episodes and we didn't get to see a lot of things that I would have liked to see but now they're kind of making either an OVA or a movie for that series um for wherever this m ends the manga pretty much they could do something else if they really wanted to but then you gotta sit here and think how much of the budget um was for this 50 episode series like I, I don't really know how much money they put out to make 50 episodes and such or even more think about like any of the shonen series and such there has to be a lot of money going in and so if it doesn't do well um could you possibly see it getting another season or like something for it because depending on how this ends I mean I may be either pissed or, you know, a very, uh, I might end up liking the ending. I might end up not. I don't know. We ain't going to know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episodes 47 and 48 of Twin Star Exorcist. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for the final two episodes. Bye guys.